Hello gems, Leah from Red Emerald Yoga. Today we are here with a full moon in Pisces reading. So let's see. Let me just set this here. Okay, <laughs> there we go. All right, so before we begin, before we go into picking your pile and shuffling of the cards and all that, go ahead and come to a comfortable seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, elongating your spine, and to bring your awareness to your breath. Notice what it's doing and how you feel right now in this moment. I invite you to close your eyes and set an intention for your reading, an intention to be open, to be receptive, and to allow yourself to be fully present. Take one more deep inhale here. Exhale. And breathe your eyes open. Okay, welcome to your reading. So for today's reading, you're going to be joining me as we unlock the powers of manifestation. Okay, so I have three little things for today's reading. The first one is the shell. If the shell calls out to you, you will be pile one. If this little mermaid ball calls to you, it's a marble, but today it's a mermaid ball. If this little mermaid ball calls out to you, you will be pile two. And if this piece of sea glass calls out to you, you will be pile three. All right, so with this full moon in Pisces, we are going to be unlocking the power of manifestation. We're gonna be tapping into our deepest desires and figuring out how we can make them a reality. We're gonna be looking at um, what dreams have been coming into our consciousness. We're gonna look at how we can manifest those. We're gonna be looking at our hidden emotions and what it is that we may be trying to escape what our intuition is trying to tell us, looking at what do we need to release in order to dream big and what might be possible for us when we finally release that. So this deck is not released yet. I got it early, so we're gonna be using that today. I really like it. And then for our tarot deck, we're gonna be using the Moon and Stars Tarot by Jane Wallace. I really like this deck. It's a pip deck, but I really like it for my, um. When I'm doing moon readings. I like it for a lot of things actually, but it's like, you know what, today we are going to use this deck. So I thought, you know what, I'll just do this on camera. Normally I have the piles pre-shuffled, but I know a lot of people like to be there for the shuffling. So today we're going to shuffle on camera. So you have your piles, pile one, pile two, pile three. You can feel free to stay here and watch me shuffle or you can jump down to the timestamp below. I'm not gonna be cutting any of this shuffling out. So I'm just gonna go straight in from one reading into the next, it'll be all on camera. And you can feel free to stay and watch that or you can jump right into your reading. Pile one, just stay put. All right, let's see. I'm gonna actually scoot this stuff out just a little bit so I can have a little bit more room. So I'm gonna need um, gonna need enough for three rows. So let me just scoot this back a little bit. Okay. Oops, bumping my tripod. There's always at least one obligatory tripod bump. Just the way that it is. Okay, so we're gonna keep these over here and then I'm gonna keep this one here so that way you know which reading we are on. In case you happen to get lost, I'm just grabbing my coffee. This is gonna be a mouthful, so I'm just getting my little energetic boost really quick. Okay, so I've got my chart here, my little notes, my spread. So 
All right. Pile one. Let's tap into your energy, pile one. What messages does pile one need to hear regarding this spread? Just want to make sure that I get these all on camera. I want it to be like you're sitting here with me. I want you to feel like you're here. Like you're here with me. Let's see. Still not going to fit that last card in there. <laughs> okay, so we will just move this card off to the side. Let's see. Which message does pile one need to hear? It's a little slippery. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we'll just move that one off to the side here. And then I'll move this, is this on camera? Yeah, okay, close enough. All right, so card number one, what dreams have come into my consciousness in the last six months? Ooh, the hanged man. And here we have stillness in the reverse, okay? So normally this card is all about like taking a step back from your the hustle and bustle of your day, taking time back to sit back and reflect. And with this card coming up in this position, what dreams have come into my consciousness in the last six, six months? I would think like dreams of restlessness, things of, um, it might be like running, you know, you might dream that you're running or that you're chasing something and like, Maybe like you're just really slow and the person is getting away from you or you, you're trying to catch this thing for whatever reason and you, you just can't run fast enough. Or maybe you're the one that's running and there's something chasing you, you know, and your legs just don't move. You know, I feel like there's like just a sense of, of being, being restless wanting to get up, wanting to move, wanting to take action. And if it's a dream, it's probably like a difficulty taking action. How can I manifest my dream and bring it to life? So how can we come into this, you know, feeling of being able to take action of not being stuck? And maybe, yeah, like this, this is actually, um, I feel like he's tied, like he's tied to the ring of Saturn, you know? So let's see. How can I manifest my dream and make it a reality? Bring it to life. King of Swords knowledge. I think that you might need a teacher, you might need, um, you might need to increase your knowledge, perhaps that is going to school, taking a course, maybe it's just picking up a book and reading it, you know, listening to a podcast, listening to a lecture. Um, I think this is not the time for chitty chat chat, you know, it's it's the time to be quiet. And it's the time to take in this knowledge educate yourself. So that way you will have the knowledge, the skills required for you to bring your dream into action. Like whatever it is, there's something holding you back. You're not able to step forward. You're not able to move fast enough. You're kind of like stuck. You know, you want to get going, but you, you don't know how it's because you don't have the knowledge. You don't know what to do or how to do it. What hidden emotions are being illumined right now? Five of Pentacles 
in the reverse. Hmm. So this is says insecurity, but in the reverse, hidden emotions. I feel like this is I feel like this is more to do with with you reconnecting. Um, this could be reconnecting, tapping into like your intuition, like your, you know that maybe finances are not, um, like are not as they should. And you're like tapping into that, like, yeah, I know what I need to do. I just need to do it. And you're coming to terms with that. Or it could be like, I often associate this card with, um, with your spirituality, like your individual spiritual practice. And I feel like that is something that's shining a light on it. Like, you know, you need to reconnect. Like maybe it's, you know what? I know I need, so this is going to be different for everybody. Like depending on what you, whatever it is that you believe in. So don't be like, oh my God, she said something that I, I hurt my feelings. I got offended. No, take the part that pertains to you and disregard the rest. So maybe it's like, oh my God, I know I need to go back to church or, oh my gosh, I know I need to get back on my yoga mat. I know I need to go out and swim or I know I need to go back and surf or I need to run or you know I need to do my Tai Chi I need to do my my meditation I need to do my prayers or whatever it is you know like oh my I, I know I need to start chanting again because you know I'm, I'm feeling a little bit out of control and I feel more you know balanced when I do my chanting um whatever it is that pertains to you that you know like you know what I'm, I'm feeling a disconnect and I know that I need to reconnect. So I feel like they're like, you know, you, you already know. And you're, that's something that you're already coming to terms with. What am I trying to escape? Seven of Pentacles. Vision. Okay. I feel like you're trying to escape. You're trying to escape like uh having to <laughs> having to put in like a lot of work like you can see this is not an easy task oh my gosh i have a lot of work to do and i really don't i really don't want to do that um it's a lot so this might be a time like where you need to like micromanage yourself um making short attainable tasks not looking at the whole big picture like yeah you need to plan it out in steps but then like putting the rest of it aside and just focusing on the baby steps. Like what is the baby step for today? What is the baby step for this week? And just focusing on that, making little tiny attainable goals. And if the goals are unrealistic, well then having the foresight to say, you know what, like this goal's not working. Um, I, maybe I need a smaller goal and that's okay. Or you know what, I'm hitting these milestones and, and then some. So then stop, reevaluate your goals and set bigger goals, you know. But having the vision, having the foresight and understanding that, um, that there is a bigger picture. Okay. This could also be being distracted. Like, you know what? I just have too many choices. Um, it could be like, like whatever it is, it's a lot, it's a lot, you know? And so I have too many choices and I just, I just don't want to make a decision. You know, maybe you're looking at buying a house or maybe you're looking at buying a car or, um, a new tarot deck <laughs> or whatever, you know, like there's just so many choices. Maybe you're struggling with day-to-day -day tasks. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to make for dinner. I'm, I'm so stressed out. I can't even make these simple decisions. I can't figure out what to make for dinner. I can't figure out, you know, um, where to, to put these things. Maybe you're trying to reorganize and, you know, maybe it, it might come down to, do you need all of that stuff? Do you actually need those clothes that you haven't worn in three and a half years? Um, if not, then maybe it's safe to say that it's okay to throw them away or donate them or sell them, you know? Um, and then maybe you would have a little bit more space for the stuff that you do need, the stuff that is important in your life, the stuff that you are using. So I feel like there's just like a lot going on and you're having difficulty figuring out like what's important and when, and what's not. What do I need to focus on today? That's the main feeling I'm getting from that card. Card five, what is my intuition trying to tell me? Page of Cups, loyalty. 
Okay. So pile one, I don't know. This could take on a couple of different meanings. Are you feeling that you could be a little bit more loyal in your relationships? Or are you feeling, you know what, like I'm, I am loyal in my relationships, but I'm not getting, um, I'm not getting that reciprocated in these relationships or this relationship with that person. And I'm kind of feeling a bit, um, a bit taken advantage of, you know, who is in your inner circle? Who are you devoting your time, your energy, your emotions to? Where do your loyalties lie and who is loyal to you? I feel like your intuition is trying to tell you something. And maybe that's what the dream is about. Maybe that's why you're getting this, this feeling of rest, restlessness because there's an issue of loyalty that's coming up in your life. So either maybe you're trying to run from something or you feel like you're trying to chase something. That could be where that is tying into it. What do I need to release in order to dream big? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So this says prospects. Um, what do I need to release in order to dream big? Prospects. I think you might need to reevaluate um, what's important in your life. There may be, there may be something that you were like a project that you were trying to, to work on. Um, perhaps it could have even been, um, like some, like something that you were learning as far as a skill to pertaining to a job or like some sort of like career venture. Maybe it's a side gig, but maybe it's not really working out and maybe you just need to release that and start again. Like there's a guy, his name is um, David Avocado Wolf and he does fairly well for himself. But you know what? Like he, I was reading a thing on him and he has come up with like so many business ventures, like so many things that he tried and he failed, but he didn't give up. He kept going. And, you know, eventually he got into like, I think it was like the superfoods that finally kicked it off for him. And, um, you know, look at him now. So don't give up just because one thing doesn't pan out. That's okay. Scrap it and pick something else that you're passionate about. It's all right. It's not going to be, it's not the end. What might be possible for me when I release? Four of Wands in the reverse. And this card is Celebration. And maybe this card is in the reverse because, you know, this is just like a possibility. You have to release it in order to get it. Um, I feel like this card is all about stability. It's about foundation and really celebrating coming together with like a close inner circle. These would be like really a very small knit group of friends or family. Um, I feel like they're going to be supporting you. They're going to be celebrating you like, wow, you know what? You did it. You know, I don't feel like this is like the community coming together or a big party. It's like very small. And like, you're going to have that, that backbone. Like, yeah, you know what? Like we stuck with, we stuck with you on this and, and, and here you are. I feel like it's, it's, um, it's like success at home. So that could be like, um, yeah, just giving you like more, more wiggle room, you know, like in your, in your day to day, maybe it's like, like a more, like a more peaceful, joyous feeling with your family, because maybe you have created like, I don't know, it, it, like a business venture and it's like starting to pay off and you're starting to see the rewards at home. You're able to spend more time with them or you're able to have like a little more financial wiggle room or there's even just less stress and you guys are able to come together. Um, there's just like a, like more like happiness in the home and in, in your small circle of people. Card eight, this is advice from the Oracle. So let's see what this card is. Yin Moon, accept help. All right, so let's see. I'm going to go to the guidebook on this and see what this card has for your advice. Yin Moon, accept help. 
Ooh, that is the last card in the deck. Let's see, page 120. Okay. Have you been trying to do everything by yourself? This isn't the answer to your current dilemma. You need to take a softer, possibly more collaborative approach. Maybe you've been too tough on yourself or on someone else. This card comes up when the energies are harsh. Being independent is a great thing, but sometimes we just refuse other people's help for all the wrong reasons. Make sure you're not guilty of this right now. There is a sense that you need to accept someone else's help in order to get your job done or to get where you want to go. Maybe you just need to ask someone for their advice. Find someone who you know will have a gentle response. In the yin and yang paradigm, yin is very soft, like the moon. This isn't the time to push forward unrelentingly, but rather to see how you can soften into a solution. If you've been trying to drive something on or convince someone of something, take this card as a sign to proceed more gently. And then there's a few additional meanings for this card. Um, someone wants to help you. You catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Don't be stubborn. Your ego may be in your own way. Bring out your softer side. And then it says, um, about this symbol, the famous yin and yang symbol describes how seemingly opposite forces may actually work together. It represents the interconnectedness of all life everywhere. So here we have this person just kind of like basking in the darkness, in the yin nature. And then it's just like, this kind of just reminds me of like the flow, you know, like the harsh desert. And she's seeking like that cooling, that healing energy from the moon. It's just kind of like flowing out. So let's see what dreams have come into your consciousness. There we have like this anxious needing to take action, like a sense of urgency, you know, coming into play. How can you manifest your dream and bring it to life? By increasing your knowledge. Yeah, there's something you need to learn. You're not able to put it into action because you still, you still have something to learn. And then the hidden emotion being illumined right now. The five of pentacles in the reverse. So either bringing your awareness into the financial, perhaps the spiritual, okay? Needing to reconnect. Needing to reconnect with your finances, come like more into reality or, you know, more tapping more into that, that spirituality. What you're trying to escape, becoming overwhelmed with choices, you know, um, tr trying to escape like responsibility, choices, making decisions, things of that nature. Like there's too much to look at. And then your intuition is trying to bring your awareness to something regarding loyalty. Perhaps that's a relationship, but I mean, that could, that could literally fall into any aspect of your life. Friends, family, job, you're feeling like a disconnect, like there's some, some issue with loyalty. And what do I need to release in order to dream big? That page of pentacles, the prospects, something you're just clinging to, trying to keep it alive, but it's just like, you know what, it's not working out. It's okay to let it go and start over, start from scratch. And then what's possible for you when you release that foundation, that stability, that feeling of support from your closest inner circle. And maybe it's even like, maybe they might even be offering you advice, but you're like, no, I want to keep, 
I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep doing this, you know, but you're like, you're so overwhelmed because there's so much to look at. And it's just like in your friends and your family, you know, they're the, your closest ones, the ones that you can really trust and that give you sometimes information that you would rather them not give you. You're like, no, I want you to support me on this. But they're like, you know what? Like this really isn't working. And sometimes your closest friends and your best family members will tell you the, the truth, even if it's not exactly what you want to hear. And then your advice from the, the from the Oracle, accept that yet, yeah, accept that help, accept that yin moon. So pile one, that concludes your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below. Let me know what you thought about your reading, which card was your favorite. And if you enjoyed this reading, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye. All right, let's get into pile two. Now we're going to switch this out. Actually, let's get rid of this because we've already done that one. All right, pile two. Welcome to your reading. Let's get these cards. Good shuffle. These cards are a little jumpy for me. I just kind of lost control on that. I'm not going to count that as jumping cards. They're a little big for my hands, but I still like them. Just got to deal with their um, their bigness. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right, let's get into your reading pile two. Make sure these are all on camera. I think I can scooch these down a little. Set these edges. Oh, all right. What message does pile two need to hear? Let's see. All right, so let me get my little paper, quick sip of coffee. Okay, pile two. What dreams have come into my consciousness in the last six months? Two of Wands, planning. Okay, I feel like we have some creative spark. There's something that we um, that we are in the planning stages of, like we want to grow and expand in some way. We want to bring something to life in the real physical world. And I feel like you're dreaming about that. That's a really cool dream. 
tasks. It's something that has been haunting you, probably following you into the waking hours too. You might find yourself daydreaming about this. So how can I manifest my dreams and bring it to life? Let's see. Nine of cups in the reverse. Ooh, fulfillment. Okay, so I'm gonna take that as, uh, as the opposite. Need. What, okay, so like what need does your dream fulfill? How can it meet the needs of either you or if it's like a, if it's pertaining to business, then uh, what business, like how, how does your dream fulfill your ideal client's need? Okay. I feel like this could also be um, fulfillment. Oh, I'm I'm thinking I'm I don't normally get this association with this card, but now I'm it, I'm like hearing, like, manu I like I'm I'm hearing like manufacturing, production, shipping, um. So I don't know if it like has to do with shipping and I like, I, I'm feeling like that's tied in with that word fulfillment. Like, yeah, like how, how is that going to be? I feel like there's like a manufacturing aspect for some of you, um, a ship or a shipping aspect for some of you. How is that going to be fulfilled? I feel like that is weighing heavily on your mind and you need to find a place of fulfillment, like order fulfillment. How is that going to be produced? How is that going to be manufactured? How is it going to be shipped? Um, that's the first time I've ever got that association from that card, but there it is. What hidden emotions are being illumined right now? Oh, we got the hangman again. <laughs> okay, that's really, um, it makes a lot of sense with this being the full moon in Pisces. There's, um, this would be a time for a lot of like feeling, kind of feeling restless, um, kind of feeling like not being able to sit still, you know, and, and do taking like the time out to do what you want to do like or what you to do what you need to do. It's more like, I want to do what I want to do. I want to do what, um, what I feel like I need to do. I need to take time out for me. I can't do what you need me to do, I need to do it in my own way. Um, hidden emotions. I feel again, like that's like restlessness, a sense of kind of like agitation. Um, and just like kind of feeling like, Oh, like I need to, for, for this one. I feel like it's like, I need to get away from this situation. Um, I feel like you feel like you're kind of like stuck doing things a certain way and you're like, no, it's just not working for me. Um, I really need to do this my own way. And that's not to say that the other way is a wrong way. It's just a different way. That way is not working for you. And you're really getting um, this sense of frustration of almost being like trapped and you're like feeling stuck. What am I trying to escape? The King of Swords. I feel like this could be, um, this could be a boss. This could be a supervisor. This could be a teacher, perhaps even a parent. But I feel like this is, this would be somebody who's very, um, like intellectual. You might even try to be escape like, I know it's back to school time for many people and you might be feeling bogged down by your responsibilities. Um, just the idea of having to sit and study in an enclosed classroom might be really agitating to some of you at right now at this time. Um, you might be thinking like, oh my gosh, the weather's so nice. I wish I was at the beach or I wish I was in the mountains or, you know, wherever it is that you go, you know, and, and like, just like wanting to get away, wanting to be alone, but because it's Pisces, I'm thinking like more water, you know, like by the river, by a lake, the ocean, really reconnecting with that, with your, um, 
needing to be alone with your own emotions and having to sit there and being very rigid and um, detail oriented is is like kind of driving you kind of driving you nuts right now. What is my intuition trying to tell me? Five of Pentacles. Insecurity. I feel like your intuition is trying to say, you know what, like you really need to stick this out. Your intuition is saying, try to stick this out. Try to try to stick it out because of um because of your security like you might need to finish that course you might need to finish you know your semester your degree you just started right you just went back to school and um or you just started this job you know try to stick it out and things will get better but inside you're like kind of screaming like this is just, this isn't working for me. And you're kind of having like this battle of wills, you know? Card six, what do I need to release in order to dream big? Three of swords. I feel like there's some heartbreak that you have not healed from. This could be romantic. This could be dealing with family. This could be a loss of, um, a, this could be a loss of a job, a loss of a dream. Um, this is a collective reading, so it could go any number of directions, but yeah, there's, there's some loss that you suffered. And I feel like, especially with this full moon, you know, like really releasing that emotionally and just sitting and accepting, coming to terms, like looking in the eye of your emotions as they start to surface and just kind of feeling them out and then releasing them. Like, you know what, like, I don't need to hold on to you anymore. You know, I, I it's okay to let you go. And I release you with love, um, whatever, whatever it is, whatever is causing you pain. There might be like some sort of like fire ceremony that you do or cord cutting ceremony. But um, with the full moon, it's a really good time to do that. What might be possible for me when I release? Three of wands, communication. Oh my gosh, and this is literally the next card after this one. So maybe that's what's holding you back from your dream, you know? Holding on to this hurt, this heartache is stopping you from progressing because you're just like stuck here in the past, ruminating over it, reliving it. You know, and you're not able to progress and go forward because you're still living here. But once you release, you know, you're going to be able to start to accept. You're going to start having a conversation with yourself. Um, I think it starts with yourself first. And then you're gonna be able to have this conversation with others. And it's going to like come forth into into reality. You know, but I feel like that that's going to be the expansion from this planning that then comes, you know, it's like an internal planning and then putting those plans out into the world and in order to to bring it to real into reality you know you have to communicate with others there is some sort of communication going whether that is um you know like financially planning for it whether that's doing like the foundation like with a lawyer getting your documents drawn up whether that's getting a business loan or talking with you know like various individuals getting your plans up and running whatever it is it could be like um it could be a remodeling project it could be a business it could be whatever it could be what, what anything but like you do have to communicate with that and I, I do I do think that it's really important that that is the next card like that is the next step let's look at advice from the oracle day moon love look at all of these little butterflies to me that's a symbol of transformation let's check out the book and see what it says let's bring that over here day moon page 34 
There's something miraculous about seeing the moon during the day, agreed? And there's something even more miraculous about love. There is also something miraculous afoot, quite possibly to do with love when you draw this card. It suggests that although there still may be challenges, and aren't there always challenges in relationships, you have a relationship that's worth thinking about. Love is dawning, love is rising. Like the day moon, if you're in a troubled relationship of any kind, personal or professional, take this card as a sign that the toughest obstacles are behind you. The way to find partnership happiness now is to remove your ego from the situation and allow the purity of your feelings to guide you. If you're attracted to someone, this card is a sign to show your feelings. Even in a non-romantic situation, the message of this card is similar. It's crucial to show someone else involved in your question how you feel. Your feelings are more important than your ego. Better days are dawning. Bluer skies are ahead of you. Live for love and love will live for you. Additional meanings for this card. Um, something unexpected is about to happen. Stay tuned. A secret is about to be exposed. Working with the moon will help you now. Life is what you make it, and it's time to start seeing life's magic. About this symbol, it says, as the moon moves into her quarter moon phases, especially after full moon, conditions develop for us to have a day moon, to see the moon during the day, because she's far enough away from the sun and rises or sets during daylight. Okay, so that's just explaining a little bit more. Oops, <laughs> another obligatory tripod bump. That's just explaining a little bit about um, what the day moon is. Let me just move that back. Okay. So, yeah, I think that that could come from, um, I think that it has a lot to do with this card here, this heartbreak, the three of swords. Um, and maybe that's, maybe that's what this is. Maybe it's, maybe it's planning like some sort of thing, like, Maybe it's planning a trip or it's planning, I don't know, planning some sort of romantic endeavor. I'm not too sure, but there's definitely going to have to be some communication involved, especially if it's like a romantic endeavor. Um, but yeah, but you, especially if it's romantic, you've got to release this old, this old hurt, this old heartbreak. So... Let me go back to my um to my little chart so what dreams coming in some sort of plan something that is haunting you in not only the nighttime but also i do feel strongly that this would be something that you are daydreaming about bringing something into being um what oh wait just kidding how can i manifest my dream and bring it to life nine of cups fulfillment i i Fulfillment. How are you going to fulfill it? How are you going to fill these? Fulfill the dream. How are you going to fill fulfill the promises? How are you going to fulfill? I really feel like this is. There is a physical nature. Like I still believe strongly that I'm getting shipping and manufacturing. Maybe this thing is like something you love doing. It's a collective reading. So, I mean, it very well could be like romantic for some and just like passion for others. But yeah, definitely something you love. What hidden emotions are being illumined right now? Hangman, anxiety, stress, feelings of being trapped, of being like, oh, I need to get out of here. Um, trying to escape this king of swords. It's like over analytical attention to details having to you know like all of these little things and this could be like somebody even who's like very cold cut off maybe who does not understand these over like all of these emotions that are coming up for you right now this person's like just not getting it like why are you acting like this why are you so emotional right now why are you so stressed out you know this person's just like you know like very cut and dry um 
not in a bad way, but just like, j just not feeling that, you know, um, what is my intuition trying to tell me? Five of pentacles in the reverse. I'm trying to bring your attention to financial security um, or spiritual, like a spiritual, being spiritually sound. What do you need to release in order to dream big? The old heartbreak. You've got to let go of your past hurts. Doesn't mean for like forgive and forget. I think that the forgetting part, like if you forget it, you're down, you're bound to repeat it. And again, in the, in the future, I think, you know, forgiving, but moving on, forgiving, but moving on in love, um, releasing them with love and then, you know, continuing on with your life. Like you're not destined to repeat that again. You don't have to relive it, but you cannot stay there in that space. You have to move forward taking what you have learned, those lessons you learned and, um, into like, in, like integrating them into your life in a way, you know, that, that kind of keeps you smart. That keeps you sharp. Like, okay, this happened to me. This is a part of who I am now. Um, and now I'm going to use that to make sure this never happens again, or to make sure, you know, that, that I protect myself without turning myself cold, without, cutting off my emotions, not my losing my humanity, my compassion, my ability to love, you know, I'm still going to love, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it in this way. And then what's possible for when I, for me, when I release, boom, you're bringing it into the earth. You're bringing it into real life, whatever it is that you are planning. And it's like, whoa, I finally released it. And look at now it made like this energetic vacuum. And this, this, thing has is finally coming through and then the advice from the oracle something about love there's always going to be challenges if you're in a troubled relationship of any kind maybe that's this person right yeah communicating talking about your feelings Letting your, letting your heart guide you. Yeah. Okay, pile two. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please comment below and let me know what you thought about it. If you had a favorite card, definitely let me know. I would love to hear that. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Okay, let's get rid of our little mermaid stone. And... Coming into pile three. All right, let's see. So this is a very well shuffled deck, but I noticed in the last two readings, there were a couple cards that come um, that came through in each reading. And I think that they have a lot to do with, um, with that Pisces energy um, happening right now. So it'll be interesting to see if those same cards pop up in your reading too. If that happened, I'll just be like, okay, whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I do... Um, I do always shuffle my decks really good in between readings. I will not use a deck that has not been shuffled well in a reading. So let's see what comes up for you, pile three. What messages do you need to hear? Oh, these are not jumpers. I'm just losing control of my cards because they're a little large for my hands. And, um, but I really like this deck. 
even though it jumps all over the place. <laughs> That's just me losing it again. Let's see what comes up for you. Pile three. Just want to make sure that these are really shuffled well. Normally I do this off camera, but I thought, you know what? Like, I just want to make you guys feel like you're here with me today. Okay. Okay. Oops. I always want to, I always want to rifle shuffle these, but I forget that, um, I don't want to mess up the edges. Okay. What message do you have for pile three today? So this is a new deck. Those are not jumpers. I'm just totally losing all my cards today. That's okay. Really like this deck. It's not completely broken in yet. But I thought what better deck to use than this one for today. Plus it's new, so I'm really excited to use it. So make sure that it's well shuffled. Okay. Oops, I'm showing you. <laughs> okay, no peeking. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, pile three. Let me get my little my little spread. Okay, so pile three. What? Dreams have come into my conscious awareness in the last six months. The lovers. Okay, pile three. This could it be uh, dreams of romance. This could be dreams about an ex. This could be dreams about a potential person that you would like to be involved in a relationship. Or this could literally be about making decisions, about balancing the masculine and the feminine energies. Your um your yin and your yang. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull another card on that just to, well, let's see if it comes up in the reading. We'll see. Um, how can I manifest my dream and bring it to life? Let's see what this one is. And then if we can need to draw a clarifier, the world in the reverse, how can I manifest my dream and bring it to life? Hmm. I feel like you need to take action. Like you're like right there. You're just afraid to, you're afraid to, uh, afraid to take that step. Like maybe like fear of launching, you know, fear of like, yeah, like I, I can do this. You know, I feel like it's just having like that little, that little bit of self doubt. Like, Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. I feel like this card is saying, yes, you can. You're right there. Like you're literally standing on the threshold. Just take the step. Oh my God, is this about like a, like a, a marriage or like or an engagement or something? Maybe it's like um, pre like the jitters, you know? I don't know if you're getting, yeah. What hidden emotions are being illumined right now? Three of wands, communication. Mm, there's something that's not being said. Maybe there's secrets. Maybe there's um, 
Maybe there's like like some internal like some internal warning flags that are going off and you're not talking about them. You're choosing to like not look at them. Now that could be about yourself or that could be about this person. Um, but I feel like there, there's something that's not being discussed. Something is being hidden or um, intentionally omitted from a conversation. Why? What am I trying to escape? Queen of Swords in the reverse. Independence. Oh my gosh, that's my neighbor. They have like these little Pomeranian dogs. I think they're Pomeranians and they hate everybody. <laughs> so they're outside causing, causing havoc right now. <laughs> they're running amok. Okay, so what am I trying to escape? Um... Maybe you're afraid of being alone. I'm wondering if there's also trying to escape, like maybe perhaps like, okay, so fear of being alone. Maybe it's fear of a, like a, maybe you're trying to escape a past relationship or a past relationship pattern that could even be pertaining to like, like mom, you know, like maybe your mother was a certain way and you're like, oh, I, I like this person, but certain things just remind her of my mom. And I didn't like that about my mom. And I'm afraid, you know, or, or, you know, I'm saying mom, but may it could be dad, you know, but the, so the queen of swords in the reverse is very cold. Um, there's no emotion. There's no, like, she's not a very touchy feely person. And, um, I feel like she's like, just like kind of like emotionally unavailable. She could be very, very sharp with her tongue. And at times she can often be cruel with her words. Um, so maybe like you notice little things like that or you're trying to escape that. And maybe like this person you're thinking like could be the savior, like they could be like taking you out of this place or, or it's familiar with that person and maybe that's, you know, Maybe that's why you're not having these conversations. I don't really know. This th this is not a personal reading. So like this can go in like many different ways. I'm starting to feel like this is a relationship with a person. Okay. Um, card five. What is my intuition trying to tell me? So deep down, your inner voice is trying to say what? King of Pentacles. Security. So I don't know if you find financial security with this person, if you find that you feel like this person makes you feel safe, that this person um, might appear to have their stuff together. And, and I, I, I do mean stuff, like as far as possessions, um, house, appearances, clothing, car, things of that nature, job, um, This could also be feeling like, you know what, you need to protect yourself. Um, you're going to have to fill in the blanks on this pile three. Like, where do you fall into this? Because this is a collective reading. Um, where where do you fall into that? Is are, are you... Are you getting away from this person? Or are you in a relationship with that person? Um, you know... Like what, how does this triangle come into play for you? Do you, do you need to protect yourself from this person? Or are you thinking that this person is going to protect you from that person? You know, um, yeah. How, how, how is that triad coming into play? Card six, what do I need to release in order to dream big? Seven of Swords, Deceit. This could be past deceit. This could be you deceiving yourself. Or this could be like you know the person is lying to you and you're overlooking it because, well, there's, it appears to be that there would be some stability in, in that relationship. Or, you know, um, 
people look at you differently when you're with that person because everybody likes this person. Everybody looks up to that person. Um, this person has a good social status or whatever, but I feel like there is some deceit going on and you need to release that. Maybe, oh, maybe that's this three of wands, that communication, that thing that's not being said. Um, there are some things that need to be said and maybe they need to be said before you can cross this threshold. You know, you're standing at the threshold. Yeah. Things can't move forward until, until everything has been laid on the table. What might be possible for me when I release? Two of swords. Okay, well, then you come to the crossroads. Something's definitely going to change, but in which direction? Things could be moving forward with this person. Things could be not moving forward with this person. But whatever it is, I feel like the blinders will have been removed and you will be able to make a decision. You will, you will not be stuck in this place of limbo, just like standing on this threshold, like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You know, it'll just, it'll bring you some closure. Finally get some sleep at night. Advice from the Oracle. Seek healing. Healing moon. Let's go to the book and see what healing moon has to say. Page 48. There is one very important question that you need to ask yourself when you draw this card. What would your current situation look like if it were healed? Close your eyes for a moment and visualize it. It's important to get a clear picture of it in your mind's eye. Drawing this card suggests you're in a situation that needs healing and that healing has actually started. However, you have to believe in the process to complete it. What might be very painful now may become much easier quite soon. The most important thing is to work through your emotions rather than denying them. That is how healing will be brought about. Talk through issues. Work on your chakras will also help. Clearing out any emotional or energetic debris in your aura. To do this, simply put on some uplifting music, sit, close your eyes, and imagine yourself under a column of blue light and gold healing light. Set the intention that your energies and the situation you're asking about will be healed. Healing is at hand. Now that, okay, so that sounds a lot easier said than done, and it is. <laughs> but you can do that um, like a meditation, um, definitely, for sure. Healing doesn't mean um, always like, you know what, like you're in this tough situation with this person or with this person, wh wh however that triad is laying out for you, pile three person. But um, like sometimes it's like, oh, this healing light, come and heal the situation. Eh, that's not always how it works. Sometimes it heals you. And then, you know, your, your job is to remove yourself either from this person or from this person. Unfortunately, that it's not like a magic wand, you know, um, it can't fix other people because they have their own free will. The only thing that you are able to change is yourself. And if you have ever tried to change a habit, as you know, that that's difficult, even something as simple as, you know, like I wash myself with my right hand in the shower, right? If I was to say the next time I take a shower, I'm going to use my left hand. It might take me like 30 to 60 days to retrain my body to only use my left hand to take a shower. And then I usually start at the top. So if I don't wash my hair every day, but if, if I'm washing my hair that day, I start at the top and then I work my way down, you know? And um, if I was to start like in the middle of my body or at my feet or something, that would take time to retrain my, my brain to do it in a different order. So that's something like so simple as taking a shower. Now we're talking about, you know, major things making major changes. So that is 
much easier said than done. I understand that. But it's a process and healing is possible. Anything can be healed. That's in the additional meanings for this card. Anything can be healed. Hold the vision of this situation being healed. Make I am healed. My life is healed. And so it is your motto. Better days are coming soon. Heal your feelings. Heal your life. And then it goes on to talk about the symbol. Um, there is something very healing about the moon. Perhaps it's her consistency or her... Perhaps it's her consistency, or perhaps as the saying goes, it's because she shows us that it's okay to go in cycles. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Ebbing and flowing, rising and falling. So I just want to let you know that I am available for chakra therapeutics. If that is something that you would be interested in, working through the chakras, balancing them, um, coming up with different exercises and practices that you could do to help bring balance into your life, definitely reach out to me and, and I would be happy to talk to you more about that. So I'm just going to do like a little recap of your reading what dreams have come into your consciousness in the last six months. I think that this is some sort of relationship with a person and a big decision that you have to make. This is something that has been weighing on your mind for quite some time. This is in the last six months. Um, how can I manifest my, dr my dream and bring it to life? Well, I feel like you're here at the threshold and you have a decision to make. For a lot of you, I think that that has to do with this person and it may... It may be a huge decision and you're literally standing here on the threshold like, I don't know if I can do this. If I do this, this is going to be so hard. Or I, I don't know. Like, so I feel like some, for some of you, this may be a breakup. And for some of you, this might be a marriage. I like wildly, I mean, like two wildly opposing um, energies on this. But yeah, I feel like it, it doesn't have to be those things, but it's like that big of a deal. You know, but strongly, I feel like some of you are, are on the verge of a breakup and some of you are on the verge of marriage, you know, or like a proposal or something of, of that nature, like very strong romantic coming together. And I feel like a pulling apart. Um, what hidden emotions are being illumined right now? Communication. S something is being withheld. Things are not being, um, things are not being discussed. Things are being omitted. Things are, um being swept under the rug, turning a blind eye for some reason. What am I trying to escape? This cold person, this emotionally detached person. Um, and I feel like it's it's because you don't want to be alone. There's like a, a fear. There's like a fear of letting go of the, of the connection to this person. Or there's like a fear involved somehow with this person. Yeah, either like some like you're trying to get away from this person, or you feel like you're in the relationship with that person. So for some of you, I feel like this person is your way away from this person, and for others, you are in the relationship with this person. What is my intuition trying to tell me? It's trying to bring your awareness to security. For some of you, I feel like that may be protecting yourself, setting up strong emotional boundaries and maybe even like physical, like I'm only going to have contact with this person, you know, like on, on, on this basis. Um, and for others, I feel like, I feel like you're in the relationship with this person because they bring you this sense of stability, this sense of security. And I feel like it's financial stuff, things, social status, things of that nature. What do I need to release in order to dream big? Deceit. If you want, if, if in order to dream big, in order to like reach for the stars, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with the people in your life. And that may be cutting ties with some people.
For some of you, I, I feel like you're deceiving yourself. I really feel like this card is tying into this three of wands in the reverse, that communication. And what might be possible for me when I release that two of swords, that's going to bring you to that crossroads. And you know what? It's not always going to be easy. Like that's why you're still standing here on the threshold. Cause if it was easy, <laughs> you would have stepped over that threshold already. You would have made that decision. But I feel like once you release this deception, then you're going to be able to make that choice. You're going to come to the crossroads. You're going to take a deep breath. And you're going to be like, <sighs> okay, I'm going to make my decision. You know, this is either going to send me on this path or this path, but whatever it is, my road has come to a dead end. Like I have to, I have to take a turn. I have to make a decision. I can't be on this road forever. So whether that's like jumping in with this relationship here with this person, like, yes, I am going to commit. I am going to, you know, choose to be with this person. Or you know what, like this is not working out and this doesn't have to be romantic, okay? Um, this relationship with this person is not working out and I'm gonna have to let this person go, release them with love. And then moving into that Oracle card. Where did my book go? <laughs> Where did my book go? Okay, Healing Moon. Um, that was, what page was that, 48? Yeah, that you're in a relation, you're in a situation that needs healing. Work through your emotions. Don't deny them. Talking through your issues. Definitely, I feel like that's coming up in the Three of Wands and the Deceit card. Um, the Seven of Wands. Talking about chakra work, I absolutely agree. And... I feel like this is bringing attention, like doing healing meditation. Yeah, I, I, I love that. Making the motto, I am healed, my life is healed, and so it is. I think affirmations are really beneficial. Um, I never used to be a fan of affirmations. I thought they were really corny and cheesy, and I resisted them for so long. But now I'm a big fan of them. So <laughs> if you're if I, if you find yourself in that situation, like, you know what, this is really stupid. I'm not going to do that. Just give it a try. Give it a try for like a week and just see if it changes the way that your brain thinks, you know, give it a try for two weeks. And um, yeah, just see how it goes. So pile three, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for watching. Please comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. If you had a favorite card and if you enjoyed your reading, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye.